guys dragon ball low-key is saving fortnite especially this last month of the season you know things were getting a little bit slow and i felt like uh, the numbers were starting to decline and people were getting a little bit bored it's not just about this update that fortnite put out with the cool skins and the mythic it's also about how fortnite is perceived by people who don't play the game i'm seeing all over tiktok and twitter people posting about fortnite and how hilarious it is that dragon ball is in the game and like is fortnite ever going to be stopped i mean they just got naruto they have all the marvel and dc characters they got Dragon Ball and all kinds of collabs, uh, probably even more in the works. This game really is like the number one multiverse out there. And honestly, it gives Fortnite like this element of being above and beyond all the other games out there right now, because no one is really pulling this off as smooth and effortlessly as Fortnite is. At least that's how it's coming off. What this does is one, so many people who don't play the game or haven't played in a long time are looking at Fortnite and they're like, holy crap. First of all, people still play this game. It's still being updated consistently and they're getting Dragon Ball characters into the game, Naruto characters, all the movie characters. It honestly feels like they can't be stopped. And this is such a perfect setup for what might go down at the end of this year if uh, they stick to their timeline of rolling out Creative 2.0. People ask all the time, like, is Fortnite gonna die? What are you gonna do when Fortnite dies? And honestly, like, it's such a weird question because it's almost like asking someone, like, what are you gonna do if YouTube dies or if Twitch dies? It seems like such an unlikely thing because it's a platform and platforms, typically these days, platforms don't just randomly die. And Fortnite has become a platform because of all these collaborations and because of all the tools and features that they're adding it's not just a game and this dragon ball update is the most popular collab that they've they've had so far naruto being the second most uh but dragon ball obviously being a little bit bigger than naruto a little bit more og than naruto being such a huge collaboration it's got a lot of people looking at the game in a different way in a really good way and it makes me as a content creator a lot more confident about the state of the game and where it's going uh, it really feels like <laughs> every time we think People are forgetting about Fortnite. People are kind of uh, getting bored. Epic's like, hold up. No, we actually have this really cool collab. And I mean, they went all out with this map changes, mythics. It's really like the highest tier collab we've seen. But what we've noticed is Fortnite is always trying to outdo themselves. Like when they brought Naruto into the game, they had like a mythic kunai and it was kind of okay. And they had like the creative mode. Uh, and that was cool. That was really dope. But then they, they did even more this time with Dragon Ball. And I guarantee you, like, if they end up bringing Attack on Titan or Demon Slayer or another anime that's really popular or even another collab that's really popular, they're going to try to outdo themselves. We see them try to do that with the events. Sometimes it's a miss, but usually they increase the quality of the events. They, and they're going to keep increasing the quality of these collaborations. And it seems like it's just nonstop. Like, this is a huge win for Fortnite. When you think about what this update does on the large scale, it is so big. And I see so many people just like posting about how hilarious it is that Vegeta is doing the gritty and Goku is doing TikTok dances. And it's such like a funny, like memeable update that has everyone talking. And that's what I like to see because Fortnite has done that for over four years and it's only going to get crazier. Dude, I thought maybe OG Fortnite was the peak of Fortnite. And maybe for people who are Fortnite players, that will be the peak. Like nothing will ever match up to that. But I do believe that Fortnite could break its player base record with the next couple of years if they are staying on this track and they in introduce creative 2.0 in a really cool way more people will play fortnite than ever because then they're tapping in to the minecraft and roblox player base and offering them that customization but even better and all the insane collaborations like the, i mean in the next two years we'll probably get 20 or 30 more uh top tier collabs with different ips anime shows movies all kinds of different stuff the peak of this game has yet to happen and that peak might be way bigger than what we saw in the og fortnite days i might be crazy this might be like a like i might be wrong on this prediction but i'm feeling pretty confident about it let me know what you guys think in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe oh dragon ball super uh vending machine on me where's the vending it's uh under, under there under where Underwear. <laughs> I want to boogie bomb somebody yeah, and then the Kamehameha their face off. Okay, 
you going? I think everyone's so slippery when I'm trying to go for it. It's slipping and sliding everywhere. <laughs> Can you Kamehameha out of a moving vehicle? There's no way, right? <laughs> I don't think so, no. <laughs> Bro, I fucking clashed with someone else, dude. That is sick. We sh it was in the final, dude, it was 1v1, bro. And we and I, I started first, so I, I hit him. But then, like, they they equaled out. It was so dope. Bro, Loki, the zero point fish is literally the instant transmission, you know? So I'm by the, I'm by the feast. All right. These aren't real players. I'm not wasting my shit. better than me, dude. Is that you? Yeah, yeah. I did not hit him once. I feel like these guys always just pull some shit out their ass when I go for it. Like immediately <laughs> flies up in the air. Because we, yeah. nice. So I haven't watched the show, but is Beerus a bad guy, good guy? Like he's... Uh, I mean, no spoilers, but uh, I'll just say not really. He is the god of destruction, though. Mm. Or, I'm sorry, he is a god of destruction. Mm. Dude, the amount of people on TikTok, TikTok dude, for, TikTok, Fortnite, Fortnite, TikTok, uh, hate me. They, they are like, <laughs> TikTok's better than Ninja, Ninja. <laughs> Someone else will upload a clip of me just like either being goofy or start like shitting on people and be like, Tifu would do this in his sleep with his time behind his. I'm dead. I have a lot of that. you sniper. 28. 23, Cypher, careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the help, boys. Cypher. On TikTok, I, I always get like, I always get, aren't you the guy who's attracted to Fortnite skins? And I'm just like, bro, I invented that like meme. Like, yes, I'm the guy. <laughs> but they say it like I'm ashamed. Like, I wasn't the one who fabricated this whole campaign. Yeah, not to mention it was funny. I remember I was talking with Charlie um, D'Amelio and we were actually doing like an interview together and someone asked us like, what do you think is like the best place to do? Oh, shit. I just deleted this man with the boogie. I said, I answered a question and I was like, yeah, I think, you know what's funny, man? I think on TikTok, like, I feel like the comments and, like, the community is just way nicer than Twitter and Instagram. And every other social media platform, I, mean, she's like, I, I think the exact opposite. All, All right. right. Who are we going for? Who are we going for? This guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh my he God, survived. He's so weak. Wait, he's he's dead. Really yeah, he's one HP. Okay, I did 240 damage to him. I didn't hit him once because I couldn't see him. Cipher. <laughs> I hit. I hit his boar. I hit his boar. <laughs> call, call. Bro, I wanted like triple boogie mama team and then just delete them all with one blast, bro. That would be sick. Oh my God. <laughs> that, that's how I finished my match. I got a guy in one shot and he like jumps up right in front of me and starts doing that. And I'm just staring at him and right before he blasts, I pump him. Uh, you pump him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blue ball. His I didn't let him blast. Wait. Is there something there? No. I'm hearing the push move. Yeah, I heard that. I'm gonna sure. win needs a sensu beam. Oh, Cypher. Dude, this is why I don't play Cypher anymore. <laughs> what did I do? You they're AI. You didn't say anything. You're on the last two guys they're alive. AI. They're AI. They're AI. I didn't want to disappoint you guys.